Glasses. Chat. And. Hey YouTube, welcome back to Keeping It Neat with Derek and Nick. I am Derek, certified bourbon steward. And I. Nope. Nope. Didn't happen. <laughs> I'm glad that kind of fell on the ground. Darn it! Kind of a little bit. Nick, sir, my bad, Got a little bit uppity with that, and that's <gasps> what happens. It's trying to be fun. He was. He was trying to be. I don't even know what flamboyant. I'm gonna go with. I that. guess is that flamboyant. I don't even know. I what don't that know. would be showy. He was trying to show off, folks. Yeah, I was gonna we start don't, singing. We don't take that on keeping it. You neat. wish I hit it, because I would have kept going. That would have been amazing. It would have been <laughs> awesome, but it didn't happen, and it kind of breaks broke stride, it and it was kind of goofy, right. and I like it more. Right. You know. Why are we here? <laughs> I always forget. Yeah. We're here for is to see what's inside the chug jug because we don't know and what's inside our glass and figure it out. That's what we're here for. We're going to put it down on our board, give it a grade zero to five, and we're going to get into it in a second. Are you ready to whiskey? Ready and able. Woo! I like it. Smelling. I'm trying to keep my pinky down. Ooh, yeah. All corn. 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 Corn and malt. <laughs> I'm, I will definitely. Whoa! All right, that was a unique clove, or that, no? It might be a, that. Might be a brown spice. sugar or some allspice part, but it, it's clove. Cherry cough in. drop. Oh, cherry, I'll taste a little it. cherry in there. Nick's going right in. Dive it in. He's already said like five flavors, which is like more than he usually gives. He's usually, um, I'm smelling glass. <laughs> but it's true. It's like mm. I don't know. Sometimes they have nothing there for me on the Ooh. on the nose, but Getting oak. this was tasty. Cherry. See, I said cherry. You did? You did? You did? You did. You did. Oh! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> nope. Not gonna, not gonna shoot down my Padawan. He's doing good today. Thanks. Yeah, you got the corn in there. Little... Of a popcorn kernel. Ooh. Not like actual popcorn. Not like corn. Popcorn kernel. I'm I am, I'm gonna give this a solid caramel. I know that's tough because I'm usually throw that up in the air and flip a coin and say it could be two different things. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and that's the one that gets it. Go with vanilla so we're right. <laughs> one of us has to. Yeah, one of us has to do it. But no, I get nervous about. I think it's toffee on the nose. Toffee. On the nose. I'm going to give you toffee on the flavor. On the so, nose. Okay. It's on the nose. <laughs> I'm wrong. He's right. No! <laughs> no, Nick! You're, You're wrong off. again! Why do I come back every week for this? <laughs> do you get oak? Do you get any kind of wood off of this? A fine pine. But easy. Define find the wood. <laughs> oak. <laughs> More specific. <laughs> uh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, like, I mean, it was in a barrel. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God I didn't take a sip because that was coming up again. Oh no! I mean, yeah, no, I, I can taste the residue, not residue, but you know how you were explaining with the uh, board that not that one. Yes. Where's the one that you had? Oh, we don't um, have right it, over there. But, it's right there. Okay, but like how like it really like Licking soaks the board. in. I can uh, see that from thank this. Thank you, Bourbon Babe. So, you got the char line. Thank you. You've got the red line here. That's how char. deep it like, soaks in is to right there. Yeah. And then you got your char. It's going on, which this is, looks like a number three char on it to okay. me. An expert. Not expert at all. <laughs> An expert. <laughs> An expert on that one. I enjoy this. It is very good. I, like I am it. enjoying it. I'm getting a little, um, little bit of cinnamon in the background. Okay. A little brown sugar. But I think you said baking spices to begin with, too. I said there's some sort of clove in there or allspice. Right. I think it's more allspice. Right, I'm gonna... but it oh, could uh, be H2O. Better. Want to see if it opens it up a little more? We could. We well, could. we have to do it for the people because I have a whole thing I put in here. So no, I... Big neon sign. I know, but I'm saying we could. <laughs> but I don't... Uh, like... Well, we could. We are. We did. You're right. We done it. We done it. Nah, I don't fine. think it did too much more. No, it really didn't. Didn't open it up. No. Which... Almost compliments to it because I think that Stands by itself, that it, yeah, it wasn't in your face, it wasn't over the top, and it still had that flavor profile there that was easily depictable, which mm. is honestly tough a lot. I like this. Right, this one was a good one. I, I, like I did this. enjoy this one. Whew. All right, I'm going to go. I need to grade it first. Oh, grade it then, Chuck? Yep. We change it up every episode, so why not? Why, why not keep the viewers wondering what the actual order of things is? All right. 
There you go. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm going to grade first because you graded first the last time. Thanks, And buddy. I like the way you graded because I graded the same at that time. I am going one, two jug jugs, chug jugs, three, it's like three and three quarters, but I'm going to go a half because we can't do that. So three and a half okay. to me in this one. I'm going to go one, two, three. Folks. Whoop! Oh! oh my god! This was good. I, no, I am I impressed. The fact that I could let honestly... Me, let me smell, make sure this is what I'm smelling correct. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's impressive. I mean, <laughs> it's like there's a huge profile here going on, and it's an easy sipper for me. Ooh. I'm enjoying it, and I like it. I like it. And I was thinking three and a half, but then I was like, but if it was three and a half, I have a feeling I'm going to round up to four, and okay. I rarely give them out, and I would give this one a four. I would do it. I'm impressed. All right. Well, what would you put down on your board, sir? That's what I'm really interested in. Okay. I went with a bourbon. Look at that balance. And <laughs> just like that, again, Cocky Mick dies before you. So I went with a bourbon at 46%. H2NO. I said H2 no, I did a bourbon as well, but I did 42%. All right. Well, I'd be interested to see what the percentage is. And it's actually, what are we going to find out? We are. Oh. You know why? Know why? Cool. I'm going to open this bad boy up and we'll get inside of it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Ooh, this is a fun bottle. Yeah, this is. This is Blood Oath. Ooh. Sounds good, right? Sounds, Sounds good. Manly. Looks good. It looks good. I like my It's got a real, just, just a simple cork on top of that. Like, you get just like. Oh, Love that sound. Seriously. Right, that's like that. Like yeah, one hundred percent, dude. Can that's I see a, it? yeah, absolutely, it. buddy. That's just straight up. <laughs> All right, not oh. being weird. Oh, but. sorry. I so, yeah, blood oath. What the hell? so the blood oath is a. It says blood blood oath bourbon packed three. We were yeah. right. Oh, bourbon. It is ninety eight point six proof. It's a Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Forty nine point three percent. Wow, that's up there. That's pretty. That is up there. Aged about seven years, approximately, and the mash bill is unknown, and that crushes me. Yeah, that is because you can't find like a lot of distillers keep those things um there's undercover and wrapped up tight. It so. says the parent company is Luxco, but I've never heard of them. Oh, Luxco? No, they're pretty big. Okay. A masterful union of well-bred bourbons taking the lead is a far from shy, sharp, and floral rye finished in Cabernet Sauvignon barrels for a dry blackberry and espresso complexity. Espresso. This, coupled with a well-seasoned rye bourbon, rich with fragrant vanilla <laughs> toasted <laughs> caramel. I said vanilla! No, you said and caramel. <laughs> Damn it. But toasted caramel, oh, well, oranges, it? and oak. Hey. Yay. Be grateful for this fateful affair between Kentucky and California. The Ooh. base bourbons are a 12-year-old bourbon, a 7-year-old bourbon, and a 7-year-old bourbon finished in a Cabernet barrel. Oh. And this one's the one that's finished in the Cabernet barrel. Okay. So remember when I said I felt like, okay, I see the oak from the barrel? Yeah. I wonder if it was that caramel... I mean, not Carol Cabernet. Oh, maybe that, notes the there wine. that I was. I wasn't wondering really getting was. that wine. That like you know, you get that like that citrus. Well, not really. Whatever that the berry note to that. Black grapey. It said, it said blackberry and espresso complexity. It's good. Yeah. I think they're like on pack number six right now. Appearance: deep, dark amber with long legs. Man, it does have long hard. legs. The she nose: is. caramel, vanilla, stone fruit, cocoa, and oak. The palate. Caramel, vanilla, creamy, smooth from the barrel finish, toasted oak, apricots. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe. Higher spice than the previous packs, but still ultra smooth for the palate. The finish is a long lingering spice, which I called. Balanced and surprisingly smooth at this high proof of the lasting caramel and oak. What do you think the price is? Let's play Guess That. Price. Uh, I'm gonna go this one because of the finish and just it looks up there. Ninety bucks. Hundred. Ninety nine. Ninety nine. Really? And I'm gonna say, totally. Right. I could see this and be like, yeah, that's definitely a hundred dollar bottle and well worth a hundred dollars. Derek, you still keep me a three and a half? I. You know what? I really like this, 
And I was I was three and three quarters. That's where yeah, I was at. I'm, I am going to a four on this one because okay. I think this Blood Oath, this the pack number three anyway. I don't know what I'd have to buy a different one to see how it compares. Yeah, that's a good point. And that so maybe I'll be on the lookout now for one of those. I know a couple of places that do carry these, so I can go try and see if they have the the pack. I think like I said, I think they're up to number six right now, so they're on the sixth edition. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. So I would definitely buy it though. Yeah. That was definitely worth it. I, I like everything that's going on in there for sure. So don't forget, folks. We have new episodes every Monday. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, they're all different types of episodes now, so you better tune in because we've got new things always thrown at you. We also got sweet new shirts. Derek's advertising well, us I right am, now. This is, this is but experimental. This is, experiment. like the, this is like the government. This is like the X version of it. Yes. You know, so this is Thanks, X1. Aaron. This is the X1 keeping it neat. We're deciding how we're going to go with them. Um, you know, we got the keeping it neat here, you know, YouTube channel about all things whiskey. Kind of like the front. This is all showing vinyl. your back. Oh, showing the back. Turning around. We got Abel on the back showing it with that challenge back there. So, um,. But we think with the next ones we're going to do, probably after the new year, we're going to have a couple of things going on. But um, definitely want to do some screen printed shirts because the vinyl, it takes a lot more to take care of these bad boys than it does the um, screen printing. So, but let us know. Again, if you comment down below, we'll know what you think. So, yeah. you know, we'll zoom in on my shirt, my mighty chest. Ugh, right there, we'll show it. Like Thanks for my shirt, by the way. Too. Oh, this you're welcome. Yeah, that's for my trip from Kentucky. I there, we got, we got you that. That was right from Buffalo. If you haven't Trace. seen those, go back on our Facebook group because Derek and Bourbon Bay Becca, both on their trip, did live recordings of their experience and recapping a bunch of things. A little lengthy video, but still worth the watch. Good laughs, and you learn a lot about what they learned when they were down there too. So we were down there. It was awesome. the, the things that we did, the, what we experienced, yeah. you know, pretty good. You know, you can definitely check it out. Links down below again, you know, subscribe, hit the button, make some comments, let us know what you think. And as always, here's hoping that you all find a little bit of luxury. And otherwise ordinary life. Thanks everybody. Take it. If you are ready and able to whiskey, be sure to drop a comment below. Hit those like and subscribe buttons and press notifications. Also follow keeping it neat on Instagram. Thanks for watching, Kinfolk.